Welcome to Excel in a minute. There are many ways to create and test logical functions in Excel. And the common few are the if, if s, and the switch function. But which among these three performs the best? To find out, let us review how each function works and when it's best applicable. To start, let's discuss their syntaxes. The if function runs on three arguments. The logical test, value if true, and value if false. Like if, the ifs function also has the logical test and the value if true. The switch has four arguments. The expression, value, result, and default result. Now let's create formulas that return the equivalent size for certain body measurement. And since there are four sizes in the given sizing chart for women's apparel, there are four conditions to be met. So for if, we must nest four if formulas to cover all conditions. Thus, we have the equation, where C11 is the cell reference for the measurement that needs to be tested. If the value in C11 is equal to or less than 28, the formula returns small. And the rest of the conditions follow. Now let us build an ifs equation. Again, since if s is like if, we have the equation. But notice that we didn't nest the if s to cover the four sizing conditions. Lastly, for switch, we have where C14 indicates the size instead of the measurement. The equation turned out this way since switch doesn't support logical operators. And expressions for switch are in the form of numbers, dates, or texts. There you have it. As seen in the example, if can test multiple conditions. But there's a need to nest and call the function all over again. And this affects the readability of the final equation. However, if you want to check and test more conditions, it is better to use the ifs function since it is much easier to read and it can deal with 127 different conditions. Finally, if you want to test a value without repeating it multiple times, use the switch function. However, the switch can only do exact matching and doesn't support logical operators such as the greater than or less than syntax. That's it for this comparative lesson between the if, ifs, and switch function. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.